when it comes to smartification or smart driving in general, the whole industry must not bypass the EEA architecture. The first generation of EEA architecture is typically distributed, and the majority of current car companies are doing this. The second generation of smart uh, EEA architecture has independent cockpit and driving domains and is currently used by a small number of companies. And the third generation is one that is currently used by our company. We integrate multiple boards into one to achieve the integration of uh, cockpit domain and the smart driving domain. And we're developing actually the fourth generation in-house, which integrates all smart systems into something that we call one box, one board to achieve a deeper integration. Um, and the cost will be reduced by 40% and performance to be improved by 50%. And the next generation uh, of our architecture will definitely support greater performance.